Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today we are going to take a look at the Weechi 4K digital camera. This is a camcorder style camera. We're gonna unbox it, test it out, see what it performs like, and here we go. All right, here is the box. Let's just take a quick look around. We can see here it says digital camera. This is what it's gonna look like. It is a uh, camcorder style uh, video camera or digital camera. We can see here it says 4K uh, camera, night shot, Wi-Fi, beauty, and 48 megapixels. So um, this side, same thing, nothing on that side. On this side, it's gonna show us the, uh, the various resolutions you can shoot at, 48 megapixels, 24, 16, eight, and then you can also shoot 4K 30, 2.7K 30, 1080p at 120 frames, 1080p at uh, 60 frames and 1080p at 30 frames. You can also shoot uh, 720 at 240, 720 at seven, at, um, at um, 60 frames and 720 at 30. So you can also shoot in JPEG or MP4. There's a self timer, uh, three seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds. Uh, you can also have a digital zoom of 16X, so there's no optical zoom at all. Um, you're gonna get uh, your control over your white balance, it's mic input is on there, and uh, yeah, so, okay. Anyways, let's, um, let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed so that we can see what comes inside of it. And we are gonna see that we are first going to get a, uh, it looks like a, let's just open it up. I believe this is a mini, a mini, um, HDMI cable. So yeah, it's gonna have a mini HDMI cable or a micro HDMI cable to full size there. So that's kind of cool to see. Um, it says, oh, looks like maybe it comes with a stereo mic. Okay, well, hopefully that, hopefully that's in there. It says stereo mic user manual, 4K manual. So there's that. Let's, um, let's get everything out. It looks like we're gonna get a remote control so we can probably hook this up to the TV if we want to and control it that way or just use it remotely. Um, we're going to get some sort of handle here that we can use. Oh yeah, it looks like uh, it's gonna be a top handle, or I mean a handle, you can put it right there and then hold it, so we'll try that out. Um, we're going to get a, looks like a mini USB, I haven't seen one of those for a while, mini USB to uh, USB-A, and then we have a, uh, what is this? This is a battery, okay, so we have the battery there. Um, this is going to be the microphone. All right, look at that. Oh, and that's why, because it has the, uh, the mini USB uh, for the microphone. So I guess this is gonna have a built-in battery, I'm imagining. So let's see if there's any juice in it. So, yep, looks like there is some juice in there. So, all right, we'll have to uh, hook that up and try that out. And this is going to be, um, let's see, what's gonna be in here? This is going to be the power brick. This is what we're probably gonna use to charge the camera. So we'll set that over there. We have an additional battery, so they gave us two batteries. That's nice, so that's always good to see. Um, here is an audio cable. This is likely gonna go from the microphone um, right here into the mic input of the camera. So we'll set that off to the side. We have, uh, this looks like it is going to be uh, the, the lens hood here, and they it comes in two pieces. You can screw them together and and then that way you can uh, mount this onto the front of the camera. The front of the camera has a screw mount on there as well so that you can mount this on there. And I'm not sure what that piece is, so I'll just set it aside for the moment. Um, and then last but not least, we are going to have the uh, the camera. So yeah, the camera's kind of nice and small. It's a nice little pouch they put it in. Um, that's cool. Um, definitely looks like a traditional camcorder type there that you, uh, that you can hold. So um, there's that and there is the, uh, has this there. It looks like we're gonna be able to screw this on or mount this on there. Let's see if we can get this uh, set in there. I guess that's a screw mount, so we'll see if we can screw this in there. And um, there we go. And there you go. Now you have your sort of lens guard on there and then you can put this on there as well if you want to. This is gonna, oops, let's see if we can screw this on there. And I thought it would be a bayonet mount, but it doesn't appear to be so. It looks like it's also a screw mount. So there we go. Screw that in there. And it's a little sideways, so we'll see if we can get this. There we go. That's the lens hood, sorry, that's the lens hood. And then, yeah, so I guess you can drop in filters or put whatever you want in there, so um, yeah. 
so that's the lens hood. I don't need all that on there right now, so I'm gonna take that off and just go without it. Um, but let's grab a battery since we have a battery. Let's, uh, let's grab one of those and see if there's actually any juice in these or if I'm gonna have to wait and charge them up before we can actually use this. So let's get this, um, let's see if we can get that in there. Yep, there we go. And we'll take the screen and let's hit the power. Oh yeah, look at that. Power's right on, it says welcome. And yeah, immediately it powers right up. And uh, yeah, it's ready to go. There's about half a power, it's about half uh, charged on there. So, um, so there is that. So as you can see there, we have a pretty nice size screen on there that we can use. Um, it is touch screen, so look at that. That's pretty cool. All right, so we'll, we'll test some of that out. We have a few menu buttons over here, menu, Wi-Fi. We have the OK button, up button, and then the power button there. So uh, we also have in here, we have our USB port our mic port and the uh, HDMI so that we can plug this in, I believe, to the TV set. So, all right, very cool. And this just sort of uh, folds down there. So, all right, we'll go ahead and hit the power button and turn that off. On top here, we have the zoom button right there. That's a zoom rocker for wide and telephoto. We have the photo button and the mode button right there. So, um, yeah. So on the back here, we have the stop and start so that we can stop and start the recording. Um, on the bottom here is for the memory card. It looks like it's going to take a, um, a regular uh, uh, micro, or excuse me, SD card, not micro SD, but a regular SD card. And then here is the battery release, uh, the battery release so we can hit that and release the battery. So, okay. Um, and we'll see if we can get that back on there. All right, oh, we also have a quarter 20 tripod thread on there so that you can, uh, you can do that, so yeah. All right, so far it says it has a 16x powerful zoom f2 uh, lens, and it says it is uh, uh, 7.36 millimeters. So um, yeah, all right. Well, we've unboxed it, we checked it out. We're in the studio, so let's go ahead and pop a memory card in here right quick and just film ourselves, film myself in here, see what it looks like here in the studio, and then we'll take it outside, try it out, and uh, test out the mic and uh, see how it performs. Okay, so I'm here recording now with the camera, and yeah, first thing that I could say is that, well, the white balance is really, really bad. It's really off. I mean, my background is purple, as we can see right here. My background is purple, should be purple, but on here, it's looking really blue. It's looking really, really blue. So yeah, anyways, um, I am recording with the camera and the microphone. I have the microphone set to zero dB, so there's no, uh, there's no gain added on the microphone, no gain taken away. There is a, uh, a plus, I believe it's a plus 20 and a negative 10, I, and also just zero dB, so I just have it set at zero. So that's what you're hearing right now. So. Um, now there's also supposed to be electronic image stabilization on here, so that's what I have turned on. I'm just hand holding this. Um, but let's go ahead outside. We'll walk a little bit, see what it looks like if you're trying to vlog with this thing. I'll also go take a look outside and, uh, and use the zoom. It's a 16x. It's only a digital zoom, but let's go take a look at it anyways and see what it's going to look like. Okay, everyone. So I am out here. I have the camera and the mic hooked up. I'm just rolling around, walking as if I was vlogging here so you get an idea of what the uh, electronic image stabilization is going to how it's going to perform if you're outside and you're walking if it's going to uh, stabilize your your movements and whatnot also i'm over by my local pond and the local pond has some geese out there so let's go ahead and take a look over here and uh at the geese and zoom in and see what it looks like and what the image quality looks like because this is pretty much going to be an all digital zoom and not optical zoom but let's go ahead and take a look at it all right, so here we are. This is the standard zoom, or just the standard focal length right there. Let's go up one. That is 3x zoom, and then that is 4x zoom, 5x zoom, 6x zoom, 7x, 8x, 9x, 10x, 11, 12, and 13, 14, and last but not least, that is 15 or 16 right there. So there we have it. So uh, yeah, you can go in one step, uh, one step increments all the way up, and that's what we can expect right there. It's a little windy, so you might be hearing some wind noise on here. It did. This microphone does come with a wind puff, but it does not come with a dead cat, so you may get some wind noise in this video. So 
But again, right now we're at 16x, and uh, we'll see what this resolution looks like when I get it on the computer, and you guys will be able to see it too. Um, I'm really kind of curious to see what the image stabilization, uh, how it's holding up, because this is electronic image stabilization, and I am at 16x, so I'm really um, curious to see how this is, uh, how well this is working. All right, so uh, this camera does have a photo mode on here, so let's go ahead now, and I'm going to take a couple of photos and uh, and see what they look like. I'm going to shoot them at the full resolution. It has a 48 megapixel sensor on here, so let's uh, let's just photograph some a couple of things at 48 megapixels and uh, see what it looks like. to see during the unboxing and the specs this camera is supposed to shoot slow motion so we're gonna head over to uh, an intersection and just shoot some cars and see what the slow motion uh, video actually looks like on this camera okay so I went and shot some slow motion footage and I was gonna show it to you right now but I need to explain something first something's going on really really wonky with the 4k 60 footage I don't know what but when I try and play it in uh, Final Cut Pro it's just really weird let me jump over into the app and show you. So here we are in Final Cut Pro. This is the 4K 60 footage. And you can see as I play, it's got like black flickering in there. So if I just go ahead and let it play back, you can see what it does there. It's really, really strange. Now if I move over here, that is the, that is the, uh, the 1080p 120. And we can see that it plays back smoothly. Now the footage doesn't look good. It's pretty soft and it's just not much of a data rate. Uh, you know, there's not much data pumping through there. It's a very low data rate, but you can see there it is actually playing back smoothly. Whereas the 4K60, for whatever reason, just is unusable, completely unusable. Now, the interesting thing is, is that if I go over into where I have the files stored, so let me show you where the files are stored. If I go in there and use preview, the files actually play back. The videos actually play back from the 4K60, but if I try and use QuickTime, they won't play back. So let me head over back into the computer again and show you what I'm talking about. So here's the folder right here. This is the 4K60 file. If I go ahead and just uh, you know hit my space bar so that it'll preview it, it'll start to play. You can see there, it's not in slow motion. I'll have to slow it down in post, but we can see that it actually plays. Now it's pretty, it's not, it doesn't look good. It's pretty blocky and the image quality is pretty bad. And that is because it has a very, very low data rate. If I come in here and go check the, uh, the movie inspector, video details, there we go. Expected frame rate, 60 frames per second. Data rate is 18.20 megabits per second. Extraordinarily low. But the interesting thing is, is when I try and play it, you can see there, it doesn't even want to play back. I don't know why that is, but QuickTime will not play back this file, whereas this regular old preview was able to play it back. So yeah, I don't know what's going on with these files, the 4K60 files, can't figure it out. But for me, this is completely unusable. So I, yeah, I, I would never shoot in 4K60 with this camera because it just doesn't work for me the way that I edit. All right, so there we have it. That was the image quality of the photos. What did you think about it? It does have a 48 megapixel sensor on there. So you are gonna get some large photos out of there. But pixels are not everything you need to have, you know, good image quality from the lens. You need to have, you know, a good sensor so that you actually, those, those pixels actually matter. So I'm curious to know what you think about it. So now a few things on this camera that I like and don't like. I like one that it comes with a fair amount of stuff here. You get this handle that you can use to carry it so you can get nice low angle stuff or just make it easier to hold. And I like that it comes with a microphone included so that you can get, uh, you know, you can have external audio hooked up. But one thing that I do not like is on the, uh, on the camera itself, the mic input is behind the, uh, the screen here. So you have to actually open this up so that you can put in and it turns on automatically, kind of cool, but you have to actually open up the screen so that you can plug in the microphone. The problem with that is, is in order to shut the screen, you now have to unplug the microphone, which means you can't have the microphone plugged in and the screen closed at the same time. So 
every time you go to uh, shut the screen, you have to unplug the microphone, which means when you go to use it again, you have to remember to also plug the microphone back in. It's sort of a pain in the butt. All right, everyone, so there we have it. That is it. That is the Weechi 4K digital video camera. This is both a still camera and a video camera. You're gonna be able to shoot 48 megapixel stills. You're also gonna be able to shoot 4K video. You can shoot 4K 60, 4K 30. You can shoot 1080p at 120 frames a second. So yeah, you know, I'll let you look at the footage and the, and the stills and decide for yourself what you think about it. At the time of this review, I believe it's about $139 on Amazon. So if you need a camera that shoots 4K 60, don't have a whole bunch of money, this is an option for you. It does come with some cool stuff like the microphone. It comes with this sort of this little uh, handle there that you can use on it. Um, yeah, so you know, you get a couple of batteries included, uh, a remote control, cables to hook it up to your TV, pretty much everything you need to start using this except for a memory card. It uses a regular SD card, so you have to hook that up in there. So, yeah. So anyways, there you have it. Um, I'm gonna leave links to this product down below in the video description so that you can check it out. I'm also gonna leave links to my Amazon page and my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry, but today I feel like, thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, Love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.